Hey, my name is Stix and welcome back to another weekly dose of gotcha news, gotcha drama, gotcha updates on new releases, shutdowns, you name it, we're covering it. We got a lot to talk about. We have a lot to cover. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Let's start this off with what is arguably some of the most important news, and that is concerning Unity. Unity actually, after suffering enormous backlash, decided to backtrack on their initial requirements concerning revenue share, concerning forced install fees. Is it enough? That is debatable, but I feel like at the end of the day, regardless, they've broken the trust with their community, their developers. Next, Reverse 1999, which is arguably one of my most anticipated upcoming gacha games, announced they're going to be releasing globally on October 26th. That is a month from now, and that is crazy. You can go ahead and pre-register for Reverse 1999 by visiting their website. It's as simple as just navigating on over to it. Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage Global is going to be releasing, expanding into Southeast Asian countries. I, uh, I've i never really played the whole Vocaloid games thing, so I, I don't know if that's, that's good or bad news for you. It's happening on the 25th of September. Toa Tsugai, which is actually a gacha game I covered last year that released exclusively in Japan right now, is having a Sin Alice collab in Japan because Sin Alice Global shut down or is in the process of shutting down. Not quite sure. There is a collab for the Japanese Magia record and like Horus Recoil that began recently. I don't play either of those games, but that's because they're in Japanese. Hoyo released this very detailed video for Honkai Impact 3rd Part 2, and players are actually losing their shit over it because they're like, oh my god, is this the end of Honkai Impact? What are What is happening with all the characters that exist currently? Are we going to be able to play all the characters that we've amassed over time? Is this an entirely new game? They need to clarify what exactly this means. But so far from what I've seen, it looks freaking great. Hayes Reverb is a gotcha game that I also covered recently that happens to also be upcoming. Pre-registration for the game in Japan is currently open. You can pre-register by navigating on over to their website as well. This is, this seems to be a lot more uh, explicit than I thought it was originally going to be based off of the trailer I'm seeing over on Twitter. And speaking of explicit gotcha games, Star Lusts. The alien babes are scheduled to board the Irelabs battleship precisely at 11 a.m. This game is currently open for pre-registration. I'm sure you know what this website is. I don't think I need to elaborate on it. I mean, you guys are gotcha games, <laughs> gamers, I mean. So five days, five days or four days as of this video going live. If you're interested in seeing new gotcha games like Haze Reverb, like, <laughs> like the aforementioned gotcha game, I urge you to come on over and watch me stream over on Twitch. I stream there every single weekend. I know, what a flawless segue, Sticks. Ensemble Stars Music is going to be releasing onto PC on October 12th. I actually know some people that do play this game and the fact that it's releasing onto PC is, is actually really good for them because they have really crappy phones. As of the last week, there have been numerous videos that have come out featuring gameplay for the new One Piece Dream Pointer game. I, I'm gonna be real with you guys here. I didn't even know this was a game, let alone that it was coming out. Destiny Child has officially terminated its service as of September 21st at 2 a.m. <sighs> yeah, that's depressing. But you know what? For players that we're playing the game. You can retain the characters, the scenes and everything that you acquired over the course of the game. I believe in a, a new alternate version of it. I'll cover that in a dedicated video, probably like tomorrow or the next day. There is a gameplay trailer now for Breakers Unlock the World. I've actually, I saw Chaotic talking about this over on Twitter, over on his YouTube channel. I don't know what it is, but holy shit, it looks great and I wanna do a video on it. Yeah, so expect this. Well, 
Evidently, I should not have visited that website, but expect a gameplay video for that coming up too. Project Mugen released a dedicated video titled Disclosure of Production Information. And in this video, they went on to showcase a lot more of the game world, a lot more of the activities you can do in the game world. They stress that they are taking the time here to build a high quality game with a lot of features and a procedurally generated world. Now, that could mean numerous things that the world is procedurally generated and therefore isn't high as high a quality as a game that has every little aspect intricately crafted from hand or it could mean that they used that as a basis and then they added a lot of life and flavor into it after the fact i don't know atelier Rizaleriana, <coughs> i always mess up the name of that game is now available to download in japan for those of you that are not bothered by playing the game in Japanese. I've actually, I've I've never played this. I, I never even anticipated playing this, but it looks so freaking good that I feel like I just, I need to. Oh, look, there's a Neko girl. Yeah, now I need to. Brown Dust 2, which is a JRPG or feels like a JRPG, has released its PC port, its PC client. And I could not be happier. I think this is one of the better quality releases this year. Did he just sniff her butt feather? The I didn't, you know what? It's out on PC. Go ahead and try it if you've been putting it off because it plays phenomenally on PC and I just can't stop seeing him smell her butt feather and that's just really grossing me out. One Punch Man World is scheduled to launch or is scheduled to go into testing on October 18th. This is developed by Perfect World Games. So, I mean, I, I think there is a bit of a connect there between Perfect World Games developing One Punch in world and also publishing tower fantasy on ps4 and ps5 make of that what you will not throwing shade project neural cloud is celebrating their second anniversary oh wow neural cloud has been out for two years in china and of course it's censored you know there's a big white line there across that character there's a big white line there a big white line there a big white line over all of those because that makes complete and utter sense <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, man. <laughs> Speaking of censorship, Otome, a new Otome Gacha game, What in Hell is Bad, is releasing on October 4th. Yeah, this is this is this is targeting a very specific demographic. Um I would tell I I'm interested. I'm definitely interested in seeing what this is like. I don't know if I could do a dedicated video on it though, because I mean, you know, it, the kind of game it is, but I will definitely try. Girls from Lane 2 released official tier SS character models. And from the little bit I've seen, they look really freaking good. Like I've always thought Girls Frontline 2 had absolutely killer character models. And this trailer has proven that they are proving that time and time again. Now, before we go any deeper and cover any more of the news, any more of the drama, I want to take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon and allow for me to continue this brand new series of mine to cover new gacha games, new gacha drama, new gacha releases every single day. You guys are freaking legends. There was a thread opened over on Reddit the other day going on to, and this has been marked as misleading, but state that Hoyo is actually hiring engineers to potentially shift all their games over to a new engine. And that is not confirmed. It could be the case. It could be they're, they're developing a new engine for new games. Either way, it is interesting to see that a new engine is definitely in the works, and that could be very exciting either for existing titles or future upcoming titles. Wuthering Waves actually went and released a trailer as part of their live stream on September 20th that details the overhauls that were made to the game since I guess the last trailer they released, the last test phase they released. And honestly, other than some, like the game, the game looks fucking beautiful, but I mean, Unfortunately, we didn't really see a lot. We saw some gameplay, like we saw some some of the world and the, the lighting changes, the shadows added, like it's beautiful, but I was more interested in seeing the alterations and additions that were made with regards to the multiplayer and the story because they were issues that I had with the game. But I mean, I'm glad and I'm happy we got this. For those of you that are interested in Blue Protocol, and I know there are some of you that are, there are unconfirmed rumors going around that Tencent Project Star, and this is not to be confused with Project B-Side or Studio B-Side, I mean, and their Project Star gotcha game, that Tencent 
Project Star MMO is being repurposed into Blue Protocol Mobile. Now, again, this is unconfirmed. This is with regards to the Chinese version of the game, because Blue Protocol Mobile is being developed in China and then released globally. But it is very interesting to see. Dragonair Silent Gods is a new gacha game that just released onto PC and mobile devices. It is a very Dungeons and Dragons themed game. And honestly, it is a lot of fun. It really is. Then we have a little bit of drama here concerning Ultimate Arena of Fate, Showdown of Fate, Battle of Ultimate Fate, Fate of Awakening Battle, and Goddess of Fate for Lilith. And how they're all the same game, how they are all using AI art. I actually, I did a video on this, a dedicated video showing the AI art, showing how they're all the same game, using the same screenshots to advertise their game. Like, it is, it is, it is fucking ridiculous. And I can't believe this is being allowed. And finally, Captain Tsubasa Ace is launching into early access. I know, great note to end this on, right? And that is it. That is all of the news that I knew about over the course of the last week, the, the drama, the releases. If you're interested in staying up to date with all of this, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, follow up with next week's video, or check out one of the videos that are on screen right now, because I'm sure they'll definitely be of interest to you.